In this video, we're gonna look at using an op amp as a voltage follower. It could also be called a unity gain buffer. And what this does is you give it a signal voltage, a voltage in, and it outputs that same voltage. So of course, the output has limits to the range of voltage that it can output. There's a number of different factors for that. But for this video, we're just going to uh, keep it simple. Voltage in is voltage out. So the way that we accomplish this is with negative feedback. So we have the non-inverting input right here and uh, down here and the inverting input up here. Sometimes the schematic diagram though will flip them. You might see the plus up there and the minus down there. But the uh, physical component, if you're using the LM358, you got the output on top and then the inverting input below that and the non-inverting input below that. So you gotta pay close attention that uh, the inputs there are lining up with uh, what you got over there that you wire up the proper thing to the proper pin. So in any case, the uh, basic rule for the op amp, if the non-inverting input voltage is higher than the inverting input voltage, so we got a higher voltage there, then it raises the output voltage. Without feedback, it's probably just gonna keep rising until it gets as close to the positive supply as it can get. Uh, most op amps can't get all the way to the positive supply, but uh, some can. And then. Uh, if the non-inverting input voltage is lower than the inverting input voltage without the feedback now, then the voltage is going to drop until it gets as close to ground as it can get. Without a load, the LM358 can get all the way to ground, but with the load, it falls short. But in any case, the uh, voltage falls. So with negative feedback though, the uh, output voltage will be applied to the inverting input right there. And so at some point, really quickly it's going to get to the same voltage as the non-inverting input right there and uh, so it'll feed that back and then the op amp's going to do what it can once those voltages are equal to keep the output voltage stable to hold those voltages equal and so here we have a brief demonstration circuit on the board you can kind of get a sense of the voltage of the leds but the leds are also affecting the output voltage of the op amp so we got the output up there and then the inverting input right below it remember we got to power the integrated circuit right now I'm powering it with 5 volts so we'll come back and I see the power supply right there is 5 volts I have this uh, pocket oscilloscope here it's not measuring voltage at the moment we got the uh, black alligator clip from the cable clip to a jumper going to ground the uh, red clip clip to a jumper we can go to the supply voltage and you can see we got 5 volts there the uh, trim pot I have set to 5 volts and the output we're falling a, a bit short of 5 volts. There you can see. Part of it's due to the LED but mostly it's the output so it's only going to about 4 right now. The LED drops it a little bit whereas if we go to the trim pot we got 5. So fortunately that's uh, the way it goes for the output. Now we have the trim pot voltage set all the way to ground. We'll go to the output and you can see that the output is not going all the way to ground. So the load throws it off, unfortunately. And not much current is even flowing right now with the blue LED. With the red LED, it's closer to 7 uh, milliamps right there. I have a higher value resistor. Limiting current for the blue LED. So that's something to be aware of when you're dealing with the uh, op amp. So now, when I remove the resistors, we do get all the way to ground. So now the output doesn't have to provide any current. It's going to follow the voltage exactly where the trim pot does up to the high point. So now we'll go go up. We're actually looking at the output there. So it bottomed out, or topped out, whatever that's called. It didn't go all the way up to five volts as you can see that we set there. But uh, if we set the uh, trim pot to a little bit, see it bump down just a little bit. Then we go to uh, the trim pot it'll be the same voltage right there. So the output has a voltage limit. Can't get all the way to the positive supply no matter what. And it can only go to ground if it uh, doesn't really need to pass any current. So that's important to use to understand why your circuits are doing what they're doing. And you may need a different op amp for your project that can uh, handle whatever your output needs. So in any case, that's it for this video. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. But just watching videos helps out a ton. I have links down in the description. Check them out. I'll see you in the next video.